Hey guys, it's Devin from Kamikazes, and today I'm going to be talking about the leaked set footage from the Suicide Squad movie and show some of the pictures of Jared Leto and Margot Robbie in action. But since the video wasn't released by WB or David Ayer, I can't really show it. So I'm sorry for that, but I'm not trying to get copyrighted. But I'll be talking about what's in the footage and, you know, what it showed and stuff like that. So that's a plus, I guess, right? Can I get a thumbs up for that? And... But right now, like right this second, after I'm done telling you this, I'm going to be showing you some of the photos that show, you know, the Joker and Harley Quinn. So you ready? All right, let's go. So on the set of the Suicide Squad movie, here's some photos of what looks like Harley Quinn and the Joker arguing about something. And it's getting pretty intense because Harley in one of the photos pulls out a gun on Mr. J. In most of the photos that I saw, it really showed their relationship with one moment Harley's all lovey-dovey with the Joker then pulling a gun on him. He talks her out of it from trying to shoot him in the face, but then just backhands her and walks away like it's nothing. That is so typical Joker, and it's so much like how their relationship is in the so comics. So the video that was leaked, it showed Harley, you know, Harley Quinn without the makeup and the whole Harley Quinn, like, getup. It basically showed, like, normal Harleen Quinzel, you know, the one before Harley, standing in front of a, some beautiful car and yelling, Get out the car! And then the clown prince of crime, the Joker, gets out the car. I was just like, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. It's beautiful. <laughs> and, you know, they talk and argue. And you can't really make out what they're saying. And that's what sucks about the whole thing. But you knew that they were arguing because eventually one of Joker's goons rolls up. And it's just like, yo, like, what's going on? And Harley just goes <laughs> and just shoots him down then pulls the gun out on mr j and then this man is just so crazy that it doesn't even phase him so he just basically sticks his forehead on the barrel and is just like do it then and like you know moving around all crazy like and then he talks her out of you know like shooting him in the face and all that and you know she he kind of seduces her like he always does and she you know she lowers the gun and he just goes bam right in the kisser and it was just like, she dropped, and he just basically, you know, he like backhanded the life out of this girl. And just left her there and gets in the car, and it's just like, and you see her smiling. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, chick? Like, we love you, but you're freaking crazy. And that's where the video really ended. It was just like a little tease, and it had me super hyped to see more. Like, I can't wait for Comic-Con 2015 so they can, you know, show us an actual trailer. But to see, like, a scene was great. Excuse me. But, you know, not only did we get a scene, we got some good pictures of Jared Leto's Joker. And, like, the reaction of people that I saw through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, it was really up and down because, like, some said they loved it. Others people said they hated it because of the tattoos. Like, one minute the tattoos, you know, in the promotional picture of the Joker, the first one we got on his 75th anniversary, they showed tattoos. And some of them, people were like, really like, whoa, I don't know how I feel about that. Because one moment, next thing you know, they were like, oh, tattoos are fake, don't worry about it. So people were like, oh, okay, okay. But now it turns out that they're real. So that's confusing. But personally, I like Jared Leto's take on the Joker. I don't mind the tattoos. I think they're pretty cool. You know, especially the one with the smiley, the smiley face right here. That's awesome. The only one that I have, you know, that irks me is the damaged face tattoo he has. Because it's just like, why? That is so unnecessary. But after I saw the pics yesterday and I posted them, you know, the set photos of Harley and the Joker on Facebook, I was talking to my amazing friend, Taylor. So this is your shout out, Taylor. And she's amazing, awesome person. And she was telling me about how amazing, I said amazing a lot. I know that, I'm sorry. But she was telling me how amazing Jared Leto looked. And she was just like how hot that Jared and Margot are going to look together as Harley Quinn and the Joker. And I had to agree with her, like Margot's gorgeous. And I'm super excited to see Jared as the Joker. <laughs> and she was like, they're super talented. I feel like they're definitely going to kill it as the Joker and Harley Quinn. Like, it's crazy to think that, you know, this is the first time we're going to see Harley Quinn in a movie. And now with the Joker, it's just a match made in heaven. It's perfect. She couldn't believe it when she saw the video. Like, she said, what she told me was she passed out 
because she was she was waiting on some photos forever. You know, like they were getting pictures of Harley Quinn and Deadshot and stuff like that. But her man is Jared Leto all the way. Like she's a ride or die chick for Jared Leto. And she was waiting for more. And then you know the fact that she got a scene and then with some great close up photos of Jared Leto in the purple suit, silver suit, she just couldn't handle all that awesomeness. And I was almost, you know, not able to handle that too because thank God I was already in bed. I was just like, oh my God. And I ended up watching that scene over and over and over again. And just telling Taylor like, wow, this is great. Like, I can't wait to see more. But, you know, I like the look of the Joker with the various suits that we're going to probably see in the movie from purple to silver, you know, all that. And with the tattoos, but the only one that bugs me is that damaged face tattoo. Like, even though you can barely see it, it's just like, why? You know, just take that off. The J one, I don't mind. But, um, you know, who knows? Maybe when we get a trailer or some actual footage, like, you know, decent HD, IMAX status footage, it'll look better. Maybe you won't notice it. But that's all I really got for today, you know. Thank you guys for you know watching the video and if you want to see more make sure you click up on the right there to talk to see our last couple videos we did from arrow season three finale to you know my first look trailer reaction to dc legends of tomorrow white canary is coming back katie lots i love you and um flash rogue air you know also with tonight being the flash finale I will have my video up tomorrow, so tune in for that. Also, I hope you guys really liked, enjoyed the video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it so much. You don't understand. To do something like this, a video, you know, to record, talk about things that I love, and then edit, and then put up, takes a little bit of time. And just the, the fact that, you know, you guys would, you know, take like two seconds out of your time and give it a like really motivates me to keep doing this and just, you know, tells me that I'm doing something good. So please give those thumbs up, people, you know. Just click that thumbs up button. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we talk about all things comics.